With the release of Ubuntu 1910 this month, all of the associated flavors also got updated. And while I don't have time to check them all out, I definitely wanted to check out Ubuntu Mate 1910 because this is actually one of my favorite flavors of Ubuntu. And I'm actually going to be doing a review of Ubuntu Mate 1910. And since I have to install it anyway, I figured I would create a dedicated video for those of you that are installing this version. Now I did already create a video showing the installation process of Ubuntu 1910. And the process is going to be the exact same thing here. So if you've already seen that video, the only difference here is you're going to see Ubuntu Mate and Ubuntu Mate artwork, but the installer is the exact same thing. The process is the exact same thing. So just wanted to give you guys that disclaimer, but I figured if any of you are specifically installing Ubuntu Mate 1910, then maybe, you know, you'd benefit from having a video specific for that version. As always, you are going to need some kind of installation medium to get this distribution on your computer. And that means you would either create a bootable DVD or a bootable flash drive. I always recommend flash drives if you can, and I've already, you know, I already set that up right here. I have a video on my channel that outlines the process. I'm not going to get into the process of how to create a bootable flash drive in this video because I've already covered that. You can check out the Etcher video. I'll put a card right here. And that is my preferred utility, and that video will walk you through the process. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to open up your web browser, and then you're going to go to this website right here, ubuntu-mate.org. It's spelled like mate, pronounced like mate, or something close to that. And then you just press enter here and you are on their site. If you go to the download page, you could choose your processor type. For most of you, it should be 64-bit and it has to be 64-bit to install 1910 anyway. So I'll click on that and we get a selection. So 1804 is the long-term supported release that's recommended in most cases that you stay on long-term supported releases, but the next release after 1910 is going to be another long-term supported release, so uh, there's no reason not to create new installations with this version. So I'll click on that. And then we have an option to download via torrent or a direct ISO download. Now I always recommend that you use torrents for downloading Linux installation files because it helps the developers out a bit. Hosting costs a lot of money, and just simply downloading via torrent is a way of giving back to the community because you're not using bandwidth that you don't need to. Anyway, regardless of how you get the ISO file, if you click on the direct download link or the torrent link, you're gonna get an ISO file downloaded. And again, I have a video on my channel that shows you how to turn that ISO file into a bootable flash drive. And I've already done that. I have that right here. So I'm going to put this in my computer. And we can see that it was detected. And since I've already flashed it with the Ubuntu Mate ISO file here, we can see that the title of the flash drive has even changed. And I'm running Ubuntu 1910. This is plain Ubuntu, the normal release. So you'll see the difference with Ubuntu Mate as soon as I reboot into that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And then you just press whatever key is your boot menu access key, which is mine is F7. And then when you're on the boot device selection screen, you simply choose the one that's in the middle here. And then after you access the boot menu and select your flash drive, you will then be on this screen right here, which will time out and automatically choose the first option, but I've canceled that. If you press any key, it cancels that. I basically just went down and then up. So the countdown stopped, but try Ubuntu Mate without installing. That's the option that we want. If you do run into any problems, you can try the safe graphics option. Sometimes you might have a video driver or something that was released later after the installation file was created, in which case you might need to use this and then run your updates. But I'm going to choose the first option here. 
And now we actually have a usable desktop. It's running off the flash drive. We're actually using Ubuntu Mate 19.10 right now, even though we didn't install it. And the first thing you're going to want to do before you commit to installing this is you're going to want to go ahead and make sure everything works. So the first thing you're going to do is click on this Wi-Fi icon right here, and then you're going to select your Wi-Fi network. Mine is Atlantis, this one right here, and then we also have Bill Y, the Science Fi, which, you know, shout out to whichever one of my neighbors has selected that as their Wi-Fi name. Um, this last one here, I actually had to censor. I don't know why someone thought that was a good idea. And uh, this is an all ages video, but I had to censor this one here. That's kind of funny. Um, anyway, I'll just go ahead and choose mine. And then you simply put in the password, so I'll do that right now. Assuming I type that right, we should be connected. And we are. The Wi-Fi icon lit up right here, and it shows that I'm connected. So then I can open up Firefox and browse the internet, make sure everything is working. So I'll just simply go to my own website. And you can see it's working fine. So you could click on any one of my videos here and that will show you that audio works and you're able to watch videos. So being able to go online, watch videos, you know, YouTube videos, um, listen to music. I mean, what else, what's else, what else can you want here? So once you have confirmed everything seems to work the way it should, we could go ahead and get the installation started. The icon is right here on the desktop. So I'll go ahead and double click that. And here's the installer. So I'll click continue. I just selected my language. I just left it on the default for me, English. On the next screen, we select our keyboard layout defaulting to English US. In my case, that's fine. And we can just type here to test out the keyboard, make sure that it's actually working. We have some options here. So we could do a normal installation or a minimal installation. On my machines, when I run this distribution, I always choose the minimal installation because I like to choose my own software. But for most people, the normal installation is the way to go. You get office software, you get some games, media players, basically everything that you want. If you choose this option, you have to select some of the other things manually. You still get the web browser and the utilities, but uh, this is a full installation, so that's what I'm going to use. Download updates while installing Ubuntu Mate. I recommend you check that. And then I also recommend you check this box right here to install third-party software. Uh, most of you will benefit from this because you might have some kind of hardware that would be benefited by having this. But in my case, I'm going to deselect these because that just means more software to download. And more software to download means that the recording time is going to be much longer. So I'll go ahead and continue. And here we have some options. I have Ubuntu 19.10 installed locally already and it's given me the option to install Ubuntu Mate 1910 alongside that. If you have Ubuntu installed or you're on a MacBook and you have Mac OS you're going to see something different here or if you have a blank hard drive you'll see probably just an option to erase the disk and install Ubuntu Mate. For the purposes of this video I'm going to choose this option right here and what this is going to do is basically wipe out my disk so just a FYI guys, you know, it's really going to wipe your disk. I mean, literally everything. So uh, that'll include your recovery partition. So again, by this point, I'm assuming you've already made sure that this is compatible with your hardware. You've tested live mode. Um, not to scare you, just want to give you that disclaimer. Ubuntu Mate runs fine for me. So um, hopefully it should run fine for you. You have an option to encrypt the installation for security. This is full disk encryption. It's encryption at rest, so when your machine is not on and someone turns it on, they'll need that password that you're going to type if you choose this option in order to uh, decrypt the drive and then boot. So if you're storing uh, sensitive information, this is a good option. I'm going to choose it because during the review, that's probably going to be something that I'll go over. And LVM is a requirement for the secure installation with encryption, so that was checked automatically as soon as I checked that box. That's normal. Now we have an experimental option here to use ZFS, which is not new to Ubuntu in general. It's been on Ubuntu systems for a while. 
but it's presented in the installer for desktop flavors for the first time. It says experimental. It is experimental, so try it at your own risk. I'm going to go ahead and use this option, erase disk, and we'll, we'll go ahead and install it. Since I chose the encryption option, I need to type in a password for that. And if you didn't choose that, you won't see the screen. I'll go ahead and type in my passphrase. And then optionally, we can have it overwrite empty space. I'm not going to go ahead and go that far. I don't even think I've stored anything personal on here in quite a while since I mainly use this uh, machine to test distros on. But I'll go ahead and finalize that and let's install it. So this screen here is basically giving me one last warning before it actually starts the install and wipes the disk. It's giving me a summary of the partitioning that it's going to do. It's going to be creating an LVM volume group. And this is the name of that volume group. And then we have a logical volume of root and one of swap. And this is because I chose encryption, which is requiring LVM, so yours might look different here. But no worries, whatever it shows is probably fine. You just go ahead and continue if you're sure you want to wipe the drive, and I am, so we'll continue. Choose our geographic location because this will actually set up the time zone and some other settings. So you basically you can just click on the map wherever you happen to be. I have viewers all over the place, which is really awesome. Love you guys. But I am in Detroit, which is actually kind of cold and miserable this time of year. But we're not going to get into that. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to stay optimistic because Ubuntu Mate is awesome. But anyway, I selected Detroit because that is the closest point to me. And then I'll continue. Here we fill out our user information. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Your computer name will be what shows up on the network if you do any file sharing. And then I'm going to choose my password. Hopefully yours is better than mine. I'm just testing this out. You can log in automatically, which is great if you're setting up a, you know, like an internet kiosk or something like that. But for most of you, you'll probably want to require your password to log in. At this point, it's actually installing. And we're just going to wait for this to finish. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. And then I'll be right back when it's finished. So at this point, the installation is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and restart, and we're going to see whether or not this was a success. And like it says, I'm going to remove the flash drive and then press Enter. And here it's asking me for my encryption passphrase. And I'm, I'm going to talk about this in the review, but I mean, look at this screen. It actually is very professional, but I'll give my opinion in the review video. But for right now, we need to boot, so I'll type in the password. And there we go. And here is the login screen, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And here we are, we have a successful installation. This is running directly off of the hard drive of my System76 Lemur laptop. So there you go, guys. That was my installation overview for Ubuntu Mate 1910. Stay tuned on my channel because the full review for this distribution will be up shortly. I'll see you there. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you want to help me out, there's links down below for my Patreon page, as well as links for purchasing my Linux books and also my affiliate store, which has a listing of Linux compatible hardware that I've actually tested personally. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.